award season is upon us and you know what that means. <laughs> the Hollywood elite gathers to celebrate themselves. <laughs> Which means us regular folk sit around and talk about what they were wearing. Like we are some sort of authority on formal dress. <laughs> Clearly. Fancy bitch. In case you hadn't heard, last week were the Oscars. So that means today we're gonna sit around and talk about what these people wore on their thingies. So that's exactly what today's video is gonna be. We are going to chat about the red carpet nails. I have broken these into categories. Obviously it's the Oscars. So for example, we've got like red nails, dark nails, French nails, like, you know, that sort of thing. And then we are going to finish the video off with my award for best nails on the red carpet. I am excited. Let's jump in. First, we're gonna chat about red nails. I am a huge fan of red nails, especially for, you know, fancy events. I feel like when in doubt, a red nail, classic. Now this does obviously depend on what you're wearing. I don't know that I would do a red nail with certain outfits, but for the most part, a red nail. Mm. So first we're going to chat about Nicole Kidman. She did the red nail with the red lip. Classic, elegant, timeless. I think it paired lovely with her blue dress. I don't know what this weird puffy peplum thing was. I feel like the dress would have been way cuter without that. But hey, it added detail. It added interest. So also on somebody like Nicole Kidman, who isn't as like curvaceous, a dress like that, I feel like looks fantastic on her. On me, that would look like I was wearing the top of a cupcake or something. Her skin tone with the red and the red lips, stunning, beautiful. Uh, the only thing I wish was that the rest of her makeup was a little bit lighter, like her eye makeup, because I feel like she has like deep set eyes and I kind of just wish it was like really bright, just like a really light, airy, beautiful eye with maybe a wing or something, and then just the red and the red I think it would have been absolutely stunning. I mean, she's stunned. All these people are stunning regardless. But I, I just, I think that would have leveled it up a teeny bit if her eye makeup was a little bit lighter. But I love the red nails with the red lip. I think it's absolutely stunning and gorgeous on anybody. And hers was like a classic red, like a classic Hollywood red. Like a lot of the other ones we're going to see are deeper toned reds. Hers is like classic red. Speaking of another beautiful classic red, Venus Williams with her stunning white dress and red nails, they pop against that white. And she has like those like metal cuffs and the earrings and then the, the detailing on her dress, just with that pop of red, there is no other color except for her red nails. I love it, I absolutely love it. And again, her skin tone, with red, absolutely beautiful. And she looks stunning in that dress. That cutout, oh my God, I would be terrified. So this one I added, so Uma Thurman, she has on a dark red nail. Now I could have put this into the dark nail category as well, because if you look closely, it is a deep red. And I just threw this in quickly because I hope and pray it is the same red she wore in Pulp Fiction. What is that? Vamp? OPI's Vamp, I think. Either it is Vamp or Vamp was created inspired by that nail polish. I honestly cannot remember, but I hope it's the same one. That's all I wanted to say. Because it, from what I kind of saw, she only did the like Pulp Fiction bit. So I really, really, really hope it's the same color, if not the exact same, then like one close to it. That's all. <laughs> okay, so we are going to do dark nails now since we kind of just flowed into from red to dark. And the perfect one to start with is a really deep red. I could not decide where to put this. In one photo, it looks more red, and then in another photo, it looks more black. So I put it in dark nails. And it is Rachel Zegler. I hope I'm saying that correct. I'm sorry. I don't know who some of these people are, so I don't know how to pronounce their names. I did not realize I was as out of the loop as I was. I'm an old lady, guys. She has on this stunning deep, deep red, which is also giving me 
vamp vibes, the Uma Thurman Pulp Fiction nail color vibes, and the other photo, which is like a full body against her dress, it just looks black. And I think that was a very, very, very smart move. There is another set of nails on here that is very similar to this. And I think it's very, very smart to have a dark nail that looks almost black until it hits certain lights and then you can see the color come through. You get that elegance and timelessness of the black with, you know, a little, a little bit of fun. I love her nails. I love the length of them. I love that she didn't go nuts with color. I think it works fantastic with the dress she's wearing. I think it's beautiful. So the next one we're going to talk about, which kind of fits into the same, is it black? Is it not black category? Reba McIntyre had on a beautiful green dress, which looked incredible against her skin tone and hair. Redheads should always wear green. You look beautiful in them, in it, in them. To match her dress, she had on a super, super dark emerald polish. Again, looking almost black, but with that little bit of hint of green as the light hits it. Perfect. Again, natural, short nails, nothing fancy, just the dark polish. And lastly, in our dark nail category, Ariana DeBose. Oh my goodness. The pantsuit with the like little sort of corsety top style and then the is it a jacket or like a shawl or something that like creates a trait it's almost like a dress a dress of a coat that she's I love it I think that's my favorite outfit of the entire evening and I think she looks absolutely beautiful in it I think she chose black nail which in my opinion also was the perfect choice to pop against this red outfit because this is like a true primary red trying to match the the nail with that red could have been too difficult and you might have been able to just see the off that it's off and that just throws the whole monochromatic look out the window but i think it was the perfect choice to do black with this so it pops looks great on her skin tone they do appear to be longer i don't know if they're natural nails if they are they do appear to be a a smidge longer than fingertip length. I do like a little bit of extra length. I do think it adds a little bit more elegance. You know what? Upon closer inspection, they are a really, really deep red. A beautiful red, but I actually wish they were black. Now looking at them again. Still, it looks lovely. It pops against her red outfit beautifully, but now I really wish they were black. Her makeup, beautiful. Everything about her outfit is beautiful, but I wish her nails were black like I originally thought. We are heading into the nude category. So the first one we're gonna talk about is Megan Thee Stallion because when I Googled nails at the Oscars 2022, her hand was the first one I saw. On her thigh with her lovely, what is it? Like a blue gray dress? That's stunning. Oh my God, that dress with the like floop, uh, loopy on the bottom. Wow, she looks like a like a fish or something, you know what I mean? But like in the best way possible, like that was a compliment. Her nails, I love the shape of them, that like lipstick shape. Quite a few articles I read are calling them stiletto nails. They are not stilettos. They are a lipstick shape, you know, kind of tapered and then they have the slant. They are not stiletto. Please stop calling them stilettos. You're wrong. I love them. I think it was a great idea to just do a nude full cover nail with an interesting shape, nice and long, because she's wearing this dress and then she also performed and changed her dress. So if it was something to try to be matchy matchy. <laughs> So because she changed outfits and she was performing in a different color dress, the nude was a perfect choice. Personally, I probably would have done like a holographic top coat or some sort of sparkle on them because it is the Oscars. But the length and the shape alone is a statement. So I'm also really glad that she didn't have excessive jewelry around her neck. I just love the light bouncing off of her chest. I think it's stunning. Her chest is jewelry enough. Vanessa Hudgens. Stunning almond done in a beautiful cover pink with, I think, I can't quite tell if it's like a glitter or if it's really, really, really teeny stones around the cuticle. 
but there is a sweet little there is a sweet little um champagne maybe little half moon design at the cuticle i think it's absolutely perfect the color just helps extend her hand makes her hand look so elegant and then the little bit of glitter added at the cuticle just elevates it to oscar level <laughs> And because her dress is also sequiny, oh, oh, her dress is stunning. And because it's also sequiny, the nude nails stand out against it, but without being excessive and taking over the outfit. But then that little bit of glitter at the cuticle just complements the sequin dress perfectly. Perfectly. This would be an excellent set of nails for a wedding. Like if you're a bride, if you're a bridesmaid, if you're a guest, this would be a perfect set of nails for anything like that. Graduations, uh, I can't think of any special occasions. Brides, do this to your nails instead of French tips. We should do a whole video about wedding nails. Into the French nail category. None of these are traditional French nails and I am very grateful for that. First, Cynthia Erivo, I hope I said that correctly. Her extra long square nails with the black French in the V, perfect. With her all black and then the silver details, there is a silver line around the smile line. Absolutely perfect. It's almost like she's wearing the same outfit on her nails. If I'm not mistaken, she's been known for having some fantastic nails at different award shows and whatnot so i'm not surprised i think it was such a fabulous choice such a fabulous choice i would not change a single thing about her nails at all not a single thing another uh set of black french courtney kardashian short little like almond style with a little black tip probably the same article i read about the other ones were saying that they're emo nails the difference between her and cynthia with the black french cynthia's like I said, basically recreates her outfit on her nails. Courtney's, um, like she's known for having cute nails. Why didn't she have cuter nails? Like she wore a pretty boring dress, she has pretty boring nails. They're not emo nails either. Person who wrote that article. Again, you're wrong if it's the same person. I think it would have just been better, honestly, just with a solid black. This to me is just giving me like, like French nails, but black instead of white. Also, she's kind of like a boyfriend chameleon. Like her style and personality. I don't know about personality. I actually don't know her at all, at all, like even, tv social media wise i literally know nothing but at least her style seems to sort of like change depending on who she's seeing so now she's like really into like black <laughs> and like a matching aesthetic i don't know man i think she could have had better nails honestly i think even like a if those black nails like the black french was glitter instead or something they're boring everything about them is boring the shape and length is fine i would have preferred a solid color with maybe some glitz on it considering her outfit is boring i literally don't care about her nails don't care stephanie beatrice on the other hand <laughs> so both wearing a black dress their nails are about the same length. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell in these photos, but they appear to be about the same length. Stephanie, it appears she did a champagne -y gold French tip with like a bit of a glitter shimmer. That is putting a twist on a French, especially on a short almond. She could have done black. She's wearing a black dress. She could have done black. And again, I think it would have been like, mm. Mm. But because she did that like champagne gold, it elevated it. It made it more elegant and like less tacky. That's what it is. Courtney's are tacky. Stephanie's though, I, I, perfect choice. Excellent. I don't think I would change anything about it. Maybe it's silver, which would make sense because I think she's wearing like silver jewelry. It might be silver. 
regardless, it's a metallic French tip. The only thing I think I would have done is add more glitter. I would have made the French a little bit more sparkly, but otherwise it's absolutely perfect. And so is she. She's a stunning human. Into the chrome category, obviously Jessica Chastain. Her nails match the top part of her dress, which, ah, that dress might be my favorite. I'm not sure. I know it kind of looks like prom dressy, but there was just something about that ombre into the purple and something about that color purple and then the sequence in the light and when she walk, walked up the stage to get her award, the dress. And then the chrome nails, the like champagne-y, rose goldy chrome nails. Beautiful. They appear to be a short, almondy natural with a super cute rose gold chrome perfect choice would not change a thing mm, lie i would have considered doing the purple chrome like her dress but in purple instead of like the rose gold but then thinking about it upon second thought the more rose goldy neutral option was probably a better a better option it probably just makes more sense but I would have liked to see the purple. So then the next one is Zendaya. She matched her nails to her outfit. Exactly. She had on that like silver sequin skirt. Her nails were silver chrome. Perfect silver chrome. I think it was a great choice. She could have do easily done a black. She could have easily done a nude. She could have easily done some sort of French or even she easily could have done a red which honestly I think a red with that outfit would have been absolutely stunning but she went super futuristic super sci-fi with it which again is kind of trendy right now so it it makes sense to me that she went with the silver chrome that's what's wonderful about chrome is I feel like you can really you can do the matchy matchy but because it is a different finish and because it's so high shine and a little bit shifty in tone you can definitely I feel like get away with that matchy matchy sort of look Okay, so we have come to the very end of the video. We have one more set of nails to talk about, and it is the winner for best nails on the red carpet. This might surprise you. This might not surprise you. It depends on what you think of me, I guess. <laughs> best nails for the Oscar red carpet goes to Ingenue Ellis. Those bright green nails against that orange dress and then the matching green eyeshadow the contrast the color uh, i love it as soon as i saw it i was like she wore green nails to the oscars against an orange dress brave brilliant Oh my gosh, she looks like a little spring flower. Oh, so pretty. I just actually really like that color green. I absolutely love it. I'm I'm sure some people out there think it was so tacky and unnecessary. I don't know. It just looks like spring. It, she looks like spring. She is spring. I just, it's so different. I, I know that I've been saying like, oh, black is always classic. Red is always classic. A nude is always safe. She could have done, any, well, not red. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done red with the orange, but she could have done a matching orange. She could have done any of the other, well, actually black would have been very Halloween-y too. So she could have done a nude, would have looked lovely. She could have done a French of some kind. Probably would have looked lovely. Hopefully not boring like Courtney's. You know, she could have done like an orange chrome. She could have done a glitter or something. No, she went for a bright green nail polish, a cream green nail polish, which first of all, pops against her skin tone lovely. Even if she was just in jeans and a t-shirt, this set of nails would be stunning. But for it to pop against that orange dress, and also she looks so good in that orange dress. And like, she's so proud of them too. Like, yeah, my nails are green and I wanna show you my green nails because I'm not boring like the rest of you, Courtney. Absolutely love it. Mm. All right, so those were my favorites and least favorites and my thoughts on the nails on the red carpet. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I will link some more reaction videos. They're not quite like this. They're like actual like cool reactions, but I will link some if you want to continue watching me talk about things people do wrong you can go ahead and watch those. If not, that is okay. Make sure to subscribe on your way out and I will see you in my next video. Bye.